Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. This time I actually Okay, I'm a big I'm a, I'm a big I'm a big sci-fi nerd. Okay, I'm just gonna I just what the I bet all of you are too. But what I'm trying to say is that what I want to build today is a small little shuttlecraft. Not the space shuttle, but like an actual shuttlecraft. Small. Has to be VTOL. Small. Land on a planet's surface and take off. Small. Pretty much just ferries personnel back and forth. There could be a cargo version, but it wouldn't carry much. Small, huh? VTOL. A small VTOL. And I'm not, I'm not talking about baby size, I'm talking like small usefulness, a useful small. So a useful small, huh? A, a useful small, not a not like teeny tiny. Anybody can put a, a seat on a rocket and call it an SSTO. I'm talking about a useful small SSTO that can carry personnel or cargo or be a hybrid of both or be just a plain old cargo variant. Something that can board a ship go inside or attach to the side of the ship. Hmm. Okay, well, it's looking pretty good. I have no clue if it's gonna work or not. Everything is indicating that it will work, but you'll never know until you test it out. I'm gonna think that these things are way too weak. I might have to upgrade to the bigger ones. Something tells me as soon as this stuff, as soon as the rapier engines turn on, it's gonna start wanting to push everything inwards, and this is gonna wibble and wobble. I might have to create some sort of same vessel interaction interlock of some kind. We'll see. All right, let's give this thing a go. So in my hastiness, I forgot to put on action groups. <sighs> it's okay, we'll just do this manually. All right, here we go. Well, it's doing pretty good so far. Since this thing is so lightweight, I'm going to aim for 20 degrees as to get out of the atmosphere before we burn up. It's 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 pretty solid, although I can kind of tell that it's already pointing inwards due to the strain on the, uh, on the servos. Oh yeah, she's pointing inwards all right. Alright, not bad. 163 meters per second on the left. It looks like we could use more liquid fuel that would give us more meters per second delta V. But overall, not bad. I should have looked at the uh, drag and stuff. That would have been helpful. But I'm thinking that it has very little drag. We could amp that up by putting uh, nose cones on the back of the rapiers. And making this same vessel interaction to interact with something maybe in here that's also same vessel interaction with low drag. So that when it tries to press up against Against the main body, it'll press up whatever, press up against whatever's in here, and uh, it'll lock it to keep it from going in, even to keep the whole engine from going inwards. That will also help with Delta V. Pretty promising so far. It's goofy looking as hell, but it's pretty promising so far. All right, let's go back. You know what? I'm gonna do a test. Um, whether or not these aerodynamic nose cones are actually better at stopping drag behind a rapier than, say, the smaller ones. 
And the reason why is because I know that if you put these, I know if you put them too far back, they lose their ability to really do anything. I mean, I don't, I don't know. That used to be a thing, and maybe it's not anymore. But not only that, but the um, aesthetics is kind of ugly. They're they're kind of in the way of the cool factor. The factor of cool is being uh, hurt here. What I mean by that is, if you put the smaller one on here and put it back, kind of got that little the little nose cone bump back there. Makes it look real cool. It's also a darker shade of black, which matches the back of the rapier engine a little better. Yeah, okay, let's do a test. We're gonna do a quick engine test. See which drag, what drag beats what drag. Okay, so here's what I've come up with through, uh, I think, like 10 tests per different cone. And that is the small nose cone. It's not as drag efficient as with the aerodynamic nose cone. The aerodynamic nose cone gives you better drag efficiency. However, weight wise, the aerodynamic nose cone is 0 0.08 tons, where the small nose cone is only 0 0.01 tons. In other words, the aerodynamic nose cone weighs about as much as eight of these little guys. So I think in weight versus drag, they pretty much almost cancel each other out. However, I did notice a very slight superior... I did notice a very slight advantage having the aerodynamic nose cone. And I mean like very slight. Like a couple of more units of fuel left over. And the top speed was a few meters per second faster. So we will be going with the aerodynamic nose cone for this build. Only because of the ever so slight light minuscule amount of advantage but it's still an advantage nevertheless and if you don't believe me build something and test it your damn self moving on No, no, it's sliding away. All right, here we go. Wrong button. Ah! Wait. It's this button. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You know, it's kind of growing on me. I, I kind of like the look of this thing. It's sort of growing on me. Ever so, what the hell's going on? What is going on? Oh, jeez. I think I might have damaged one of my things. Oh, wait. I know what it was. Okay. I think I know what it is. My little block stopper thing is sort of blocking it way more than what's supposed to. Yeah, we don't have nearly enough Delta V to get into orbit. <laughs> All right, so we just put a bunch of stuff on there and it killed our Delta V, destroyed everything. We're just gonna have to go back to simple basics. We're, we're gonna have to simplify this as simple as simple as can possibly get. That means we're gonna have to strip it, strip everything down, strip it all down. We'll keep some of the essentials. Pretty sure these didn't help either. We're gonna try to make it as far up as possible instead of relying on locks. Now that unfortunately is gonna mean that our ship's gonna be way up in the air. Gotta do what you gotta do though. dare do that on me come on you know what i think i need to lock this that's what i need to do i need to lock the servos going on two hours and 38 minutes now damn where's that drag coming from
Oh, I see. It's not reading it. It wasn't reading it. Now that's interesting. So I opened them up real quick, right? And then closed it. And then suddenly the drag disappeared on one side. Very interesting. Come on, give me a damn break. Really wish they would lock. Really, really wish they would lock. Finally, one did at least. Gee, many Christmas. 11 meters per second that's not hardly enough to do anything oh boy i mean but we're getting somewhere I, I figured that what was really killing us was the drag even though i put on about a ton or more by adding these two different modules how much liquid fuel yeah we have almost no oxidizer left i don't want to add more stuff to it that's just gonna oh boy okay well interesting vtol concept for a very 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 small passenger ssto uh, I'm liking where this is going. We're going to have to get back to it later on because I'm all out of time. So I want to thank you all for coming. So I want to thank you all for joining me today. Love you all. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. It's got a lot of potential. It really, really does. It actually looks kind of nice.